After mentioning some detail about the seat hopper, I would like to go now to our seat meter. First of all, open the seat meter and remove the seat disc. After opening the lid and removing the seat disc, we can see now the inside of our seat meter. I would like to start with the seat sensor in here. The seat sensor has to be cleaned after every season using the brush and some soap water. After we clean the sensor, we should take a look at our adapter. It might be that it's worn out here in the middle. If that is the case, you can replace only this adapter by unscrewing the screw in the back and put a new one in. If your machine is equipped with this metal grid inside here, you should check if there is some dirt behind. For that, you should start the fan to see if there is some dirt. If that's the case, remove the grid, start the fan again so the dirt blows out. After doing that, put the grid again inside in here. Now we would like to take a look at our singulator wheels here. If they are worn out, you can easily remove them by its own by using each wheel separate and replace them. Also check here if the singulator can reach every position from 9 to C. If we are in position C, that's a maintenance position, we can see that little screw in here. By unscrewing that screw, we can remove the complete singulator, may if we need to replace it in case of some of those metal plates are bended. For the hatch, close and open it full way so see it's going smoothly. After taking a look at the inside of our seat meter, I would like to take a look at the lid and the components inside the lid of the seat meter. For the lid, we have a ceiling here and you should check if there are some wear or some damages, visible damages on the ceiling. May also put the lid back again, start up the fan and see if you can feel some air leakage. In this case, you have to replace the ceiling. We have a rubber wheel. You should see if you see some visible damages here. And also check the axle of this rubber wheel, if this is worn out. Here we have our knockout wheel and the knockout wheel arm. You should check the toes of the knockout wheel if they are worn out and if the knockout wheel sits properly on the arm. In other case, the arm is worn out. That one you can easily remove by losing that spline, only replace the arm of the knockout wheel. If we are talking about worn out parts, it's really important to place them at the right time. Not too early and also not too late, so we may get a bad working result. Starting with the adapter I mentioned before. Here we see a new one. And here we see a worn out one. You see the little edge here in the front where all the seats pass and it gets worn out in here. The singulator wheel, also here a new one. You see here this little mark. Here on the worn out one, that mark is already gone. It got smaller and smaller in diameter, so we have to replace it. The knockout wheel, the new one. Here worn out one where you can see the twos are getting very, very thin. There might be a risk that they break, so they cannot clean each hole properly. The arm of the knockout wheel, the new one, here one out one, you see it getting thinner and thinner here. By movement of the wheel, you see the wheel doesn't really fit to the arm and can move off. So that's time to replace the arm. Here we also can see our seat sensor, that one is cut into two halves and we easily can see here that window where is our electronic behind to count our seats and that window should always be cleaned and not be full of treatment or dust of treatment. After removing the lid and the seat disc, we should not pull it back for storage season. We have a ceiling here on the lid which should also relax during storage season. 
so no pressure on it. And we have the knockout wheel arm, which also should not be in that position while storage, so the spring inside here can relax. We should both put the seat disc and the lid inside the hopper. And take care if you put the lid inside the hopper that that is to the upper side, so there's no pressure on the knockout wheel arm. For a TPV it's important to do that because we have different type of lids, so you will not mix them up after storage season.